Hey guys, what's up? Kyle Hunt, Hunt Fitness. Can you see me? Can you see me? All right. So this video is just a, uh, a little update on my squat progression. So as you guys know, 2014, so last year, was, wasn't was a very good year for my lower body lifts. Uh, I think around the end of March, beginning of April, I had a lower back injury. And it never really hindered my squat too much as far as uh, pain. I could always squat without any pain. But deadlift, you know, pretty much every time I deadlifted, it hurt. So there were no gains made in the deadlift department. Now, squatting, I was, I was a little hesitant to go super, super heavy pretty much all year because I knew I had this lower back injury. And even though it didn't hurt when I was squatting, you know, it, it just kind of, kind of common sense is uh, I, I probably shouldn't have shouldn't push myself to the to the max on, on squatting. But I put in a ton of good work, a ton of good quality work, pretty much laying the foundation for once that I got over the hump of that lower back injury, I would be able to to crush some heavy squats. And that's, knock on wood, where I'm at right now. I've been feeling really, really good uh, for the last couple months, and then the month of January, I've really just put my foot on the gas and ramped it up. Uh, every week of January, I've hit some form of PR on my squat, whether weight or reps, um, I hit, uh, four, I started off with a 455 squat, that was the, the most I ever hit before, that was a PR, uh, I think you guys saw that video, then I hit, uh, 405 for 7, uh, which was a PR, I hit 365 for 11 or 12, which was a PR, uh, there's a bunch of other rep PRs in there too, with like a specific weight for the most reps I've ever got, so I've hit a PR every single week, and then, uh, last week, last Saturday, so a week from today actually, I hit uh, a 465 squat. It was feeling easy. Uh, so I'm just going to show you guys. The two sets you're going to see in this video are a, I think it's a 445. is a little ramp up set and then a 465. Yeah, and it felt super light. The only thing I was concerned about was like, shit, did I? Which I always am worried about is depth. I'm always like, yeah, I'm going to hit the depth. But <laughs> if you guys watch my squats, I, I normally crush depth. So that's the thing. Cause I, for all my sets, I mean, I pretty much go ass to ankles. So... If I go super, super heavy, like maximum effort on a squat, I won't go ass to ankles, obviously. I'll go like an inch or two above that. So it feels like it's high, but it's still a mile below everybody else. But, um, yeah, plus a high bar back squat, too. It's just, it's more applicable, um, to, especially for Olympic lifting. If you want to do any type of Olympic lifting, high bar back squat transfers a lot better, which I am going to get back into Olympic lifting. I actually snatched today. I haven't really done Olympic lifts in about a month. And then today I was like, well, what the fuck? I'll throw in some some snatch. And, oh, my, it felt great. It was crazy. I just, like, walked in, grabbed the bar, and it was, it was you know, you definitely need, have some holes I need to, to address, but it's just, it was, it was feeling pretty good. So you guys will be seeing some Olympic lifting videos in the near future. But uh, anyway, that's all I got for you. Here's some, some squats. Until next time, guys. Peace. Come on, boy. You, you. Ah. Boom.